Hi everybody, this is Mr. Folly, and welcome to Podcast 6.2. We're going to do limiting reactants, excess reactants, and a whole lot of calculatoring. So let's go ahead and hop right into it. The limiting reactant is a reactant that controls the amount of products. Remember, reactants yield products. So which reactant? I could have reactant 1 plus reactant 2 yields products. Excess reactant is left over when the reaction is done. Oh, by the way, this is determined by the amount. Um, use limiting reactant for all calculations. Uh-oh. Um, use limiting reactant for all calculations once you know it. Do a limiting reactant problem whenever you have two amounts of a reactant. Oh, it could be three, but if you've got every reactant. So if I have 20 grams of HG and 5 grams of O2, if I convert these both into HGO, I probably won't get the exact same number. So what number is the real amount that I get? The amount that I really get is the least of those two answers. So I'm going to show you how to do this. It's pretty similar to what we did on the last podcast. 20 grams of HG, and I'm going to convert 20 grams of HG into HGO, times dividing bar. I've got grams of HG on the bottom, and I always go through moles, always go through moles, always go through moles, always go through moles. How many grams of mercury in one mole of mercury? Well, periodic table tells me it's 200.59. Now I'm in moles of mercury, but remember, I want grams of HGO. So I'm going to get rid of moles of mercury by putting it on the bottom so it'll cancel. And I'm going to go into moles of HGO. I need an equivalence here, a relationship between HGO and HG. I wish it would stop doing that. Two moles of HGO, or two moles of HG make two moles of HGO. So now I'm going to convert my moles of HGO into grams of HGO. So one mole is go to the periodic table. So mercury, again, from the periodic table is 200.59, plus oxygen is 16, so 216.59. Pretty embarrassing to use my calculator for that, but hey, what can I say? I did. wish it would stop jumping like that. So now I'm going to do the math. 20 divided by 200.59 divided by 2 times 2 times 216.59. And I get, I'm frustrated, it keeps moving, and, mm, and 216, sorry, and 21.60 grams of HGO. I'm going to do the exact same thing, but I'm going to start with 5 grams of O2. Times dividing bar. Put grams of O2 on the bottom and moles of O2 on top. Now I'm canceling the whole process to cancel grams of O2. One mole of O2 equals 32.00 grams of O2. Now I'm in moles of O2, and I want to get out of moles of O2, so I put it on the bottom. And I want to go into grams of HGO, but first I have to go into moles of HGO. Now when I have moles over moles, I use coefficients. The coefficient in front of HGO is 2, and the coefficient in front of O2 is 1. Now I'm going to get out of moles of HGO and go into grams of HGO. One mole equals, and I go to the periodic table, it's the same number it was up here, 216.59. And I'm going to get 5 divided by 32. Why is it changing? Boy, is this weird. 5 divided by 32 times 2, times 2, mm, where's my delete button, times 216.59, and that is 67.68. This one I forgot what it was, but I think it was 20-something, so I'm going to have to run it through again, because the computer's being weird to me. 200.59 times 216.59. I hope these numbers are the same now. 21.60. These are both grams of HGO. This is the correct answer because it is the least. Okay, 
my limiting reactant is the reactant that gave me the least. So this is my limiting reactant, even though it was bigger. Hg is my limiting reactant, and O2 is my excess reactant. This is my limiting reactant because it made the least, and that's the most. I promise you I'm not trying to make these things disappear. Sometimes we want to know exactly how much is left over. So this is called the excess, or in real letters, excess. Excess is left over, so does waste. Why do we want excess? Well, we want to make sure that we use that we use all of our limiting reactant. So we want to have our limiting reactant be expensive. Not that we want it to be expensive, but we use our most expensive one. Our excess reactant will be cheap. So to find the excess reactant, we find the limiting reactant. Oh boy, that's the problem we just did. Excuse me. And then we convert it to the excess. We take our limiting reactant and convert it into the other reactant. That's what we need, and then we'll subtract. So boy, oh boy, do I hope that this comes out a little nicer than it does last time. So I'm hoping to stay on the same slide the whole time. So I'm going to start with FeCl3 plus H2S. I need to figure out what that's going to make. Well, this is a double replacement reaction, so Fe and H2 are going to trade places. And that means I'm going to get HCl plus FeS. Now, iron over here is plus 3, so it's going to be plus 3 over here. And sulfur is always minus 2, so I'm going to get Fe2S3. I'm going to scribble these out, so I think if I go to my eraser, it will go all crazy on me. And now I need to balance it. So I need two irons. This is a three. Two irons. And if I need three sulfurs, then that means I'll need six of this. That will balance it. So I have 90 grams of this. And I have 52 grams of this. Maybe I don't. I have 52 grams of this. And I'm going to convert everything into HCl because this is what mass of HCl is produced. And that'll help me find a limiting reaction. Okay? So I'm going to start with 90 grams of FeCl3 times dividing bar, grams of FeCl3 to cancel it out, and moles of FeCl3 on top. So this is going to be 1. Now, iron, according to the periodic table, is 55.85 plus quantity 3 times chlorine, 35.45. That's 162.2. Now I'm in moles of FeCl3, but I want to get out of that and go into moles of HCl. So moles over moles use coefficients. There's my coefficient. And FeCl3, my coefficient is 2. I want to change this into grams of HCl, moles of HCl, grams of HCl. So one mole of HCl is, go to the periodic table, 1.01, .01, that's what gram stands for, plus 35.45. Oops, 4.6. So now I'm in grams of HCl, which is what I'm looking for. Remember, I put these here in the order they're in to cancel diagonally, right? So 90 divided by 162.2 times 6 divided by 2 times 36.45 is 60.68. And then just to show that I'm doing a different reactant, look at me going crazy, I'll put it in a different color. So I have 52 grams of H2S. times dividing bar. Hate you grams of H2S because I want to go through moles of H2S. Notice how I always have to get into moles of everything. So two hydrogens are 2.02 .02, and sulfur is 32.06 so that's 34.08. Then I have moles of H2S and I want to go into the exact same thing. Not the other reactant. I want to go into HCl again. Mm. Moles over moles use coefficients, so 6 is HCl, and H2S is 3. So then I want to get out of moles of HCl and go into grams of HCl. And I did the grams already, it's up here. 36.46 is 1. 
52 divided by 34.08 times 6 divided by 3 times 36.46 111.26 grams. Now if you notice I have a smaller amount here. So this is the amount made. What is the mass of HCl produced? If I call that question A, there's my answer to A. What is the oh I guess that should have been A. What is the limiting reactant? I'll call that question one, I guess. The limiting reactant is the reactant that produced the least amount. Limiting reactant equals FeCl3 because it made the least. My excess reactant is H2S because it made the most. Okay. So what I have to do now is, just to be crazy, let's see if I have another. Oh, black is a color. I can tell the difference between. I'm going to take my limiting reactant and convert it into my excess reactant. So I'm going to take this and convert it into this, and this will tell me how much I need. The amount that I need has to be less than 52. So let's give that a shot. 90 grams FeCl3 times dividing bar. Go into moles of FeCl3. And then I did this before. I'm glad this is done at least a little bit. 162.2 grams of FeCl3. And again, I'm converting it. Okay, get out of moles of FeCl3. I'm turning into the excess reactant, which is H2S. H2S's coefficient is 3. FeCl3's coefficient is 2. Now I get out of moles of H2S and go into grams of H2S. And this is a little bit nicer because my molar masses were done already. Yeah. So 90 divided by 162.2 times 3 divided by 2 times 34.08 is 28.36 grams. Whew. It is less than oops, my 52, so I know I did it right. This is what I need. Notice I have 52 grams. So 52 minus 28.36 equals what I have left over. 52 minus answer. So I have, oops, 28, 23.6 grams. Excess, meaning that's how much is left over. Okay, that is the amount of excess that remains, right there. Don't worry, we'll be doing a bunch of these. These are the evil dogs. Okay, three FeO solid plus aluminum yields Fe plus Al2O3. A mixture of 10.325 grams of iron oxide and 5.73 grams of aluminum metal. So I like to label them right away. So 10.325. 5.734. It's placed in a crucible and heated in a high temperature oven, as expressed by the reaction above. Find the limiting reactant. Okay. Find the mass of iron produced. Calculate the mass of excess reactant remaining in the crucible. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to take this guy first, and because it wants to know how much iron, I'm going to convert everything into iron. I'm going to do it up here because I didn't leave myself much space. 10.325 grams of FeO times dividing bar, grams of FeO, one mole of FeO. Iron is 55.85 plus 16, whoops, 55.85 plus 16 is 71.85. And then I want to get out of moles of FeO and go into moles of Fe, whoops, And then I have three moles of FeO make three moles of Fe. I could put one and one there, but it doesn't really matter. And then one mole of FeO, oh, one mole of Fe, pardon me, is 55.85 grams of Fe. 10, whoops, 10.325 divided by 71.85 times 55.85 is 8.03 grams Fe. 
Okay, that's how much is made from FeO. Let's figure out how much is made from aluminum. 5.734 grams. Pretty close to the same thing. Grams of aluminum into moles of aluminum. One mole equals, go to the periodic table, 26.98 grams of aluminum. Then I have moles of aluminum and moles of iron. Coefficient for iron is 3, coefficient for aluminum is 2. And then one mole of iron is 55.85 grams of iron. 5.734 grams divided by 26.98 times 3 divided by 2 times 55.85 17.8. Okay, so notice this is less. This is the actual made. That means my limiting reactant is FeO. My excess reactant is Al. Okay, find limiting reactant, check mass produced, check 8.03. Um, calculate the mass of excess reactant remaining in the crucible. Okay. Now what I'm going to do to give myself a little bit more room, since I know this is my limiting reactant and my excess number doesn't matter much, I'm going to erase this part. So I hope you have it. Whee! Oh, come on. Erase with more fun than that. Okay, so remember you take your limiting reactant and you're going to convert it into your excess reactant. So that's what I'm going to do here. Oh, and let's give myself a new fun color. Um, all right, so I'm going to take 10.325 grams of FeO. Remember, this time I'm going to convert it into aluminum. So my mass of FeO was 71.85 grams from the periodic table equals one mole. And then moles of FeO into moles of aluminum. There are two moles of aluminum and three moles of FeO. And then moles of aluminum into grams of aluminum. And this will tell me how much aluminum I need. The 26.98 again comes from the periodic table. 10.325 divided by 71.85 times 2 divided by 3 times 26.98 is 2.58 grams of aluminum needed. Notice how I label it needed. Nope, so far I misspelled it. Needed. How much aluminum do I have? 5.734. So 5.734 is what I have minus 2.58, which is what I need, gives me. So 5.734 minus answer Ooh, pi almost, 3.149 grams AL excess. Okay, oops, guess it was just done with it. I, whoop, it's really done with it. Okay, so that's the excess, that's how much I have left over. That's the answer to that. It's a lot of math, so notice we're going to spend a lot of time doing these calculations again until we can do them in our sleep. So, limiting reacting controls the amount of product made. It doesn't need to be moles. Excess is left over, so it should be cheap. Woohoo! Limiting reactant is used to calculate the amount of product and the amount of excess needed and left over. Always go through moles, always go through moles, always go through moles. Always love chemistry like I do. I will talk to you later. Toodles.